Welcome uh, back to uh, another episode of EU4, The Luck of the Irish Achievement. And uh, yeah, last, last episode was very frustrating. Um, very frustrating because uh, England did it again. They started bullying us, forcing us to uh, make peace uh, with uh, Lannisters and, uh, and the others. And uh, that's not what we wanted. Very annoying. And nobles demand all rights. The nobility during this period still recall the days when the king was just the first among many nobles. They want to return to those days, but we don't want that. Losing stability is not good for us. I guess we'll have to go that. Monthly autonomy changes is not good for us. It will cost us money, but... People stay happy, they will actually stay very happy. Maybe we could actually abuse this to get something from them. Because they love us right now. And uh, we could, we don't need the military support. But a new general would be perfect. But um, we should probably wait with that until, uh, until we're actually going to go to war. Because now it's a risk that he, that general will be dead before the next war. And uh, cost of trade embargoes. Oh, England vassalized them. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This means we can't get Tyrone uh, from attacking Lannisters. That's the bad news. The good news is one of the reasons uh, England intercepted things might have been exactly that uh, that they had huge interest in, in Tyrone and wanted Tyrone. Now, on the other side, they might not intervene if we attack Lannister. So that could be, it could actually be, be good news for us. Uh, but still very annoying because we wanted that and we wanted that province badly. We definitely did. So uh, I'm not very happy with that. Not very happy on, at all. And France, what's going on? I can't remember ever playing this game with, with France being in peace for, for such a long time. They usually are the big conquerors. They, they usually take the, the English provinces like ASAP in the beginning of the game and then start blobbing out all of Europe. Kind of weird. And also Sweden. Why aren't you rebelling? Why don't you want your independence? We need that to happen also. Oh, this is kind of a weird save, not what we were expecting, but hey, we, uh, we just need to be pre prepared for, for whatever. But what else can we do? That's uh, all I'd say, like, what else can we do? So, uh, what do you want to use our diplomat for right now? Nothing, I think. Well, now, of course, now they are interested in our provinces, of course, why I'm not surprised. Not surprised at all. Let's let's just improve some relations here. At least we are getting some money here. We are can work on our loans. Black news, our leader has down has died, and now our queen takes control until our heir is old enough so we have a queen that will rule for a very short time because our heir is 14 years old so uh i think he will take power very very soon uh for just yeah the regency will end in in less than a year for about a year so we will have a very short uh queen rule here so do we want to repay the loans or we will do we like try to build a fortress here? I think we should go for the loans anyway. How much money are we making? We are making money, but it's only because France is giving us uh, giving us some so And of course we're getting royal marriages now since our leader has died, it's time to uh, for our heir to get married and that of course will strengthen uh, the relationships with those countries and we like to have good relationships with those countries. Couldn't something happen between Scotland and London such we can take them without, without doing that? Mm -hmm.
So yeah, we we are back to the Cold War. We uh, we are back for the waiting game because we are not strong enough to challenge England, and now we have peace deals. We can't do much at all, and uh, we can embrace an institution, and uh, that's of course is uh, the Renaissance. And what would that cost us? It will cost us basically all the money we have. I mean, not in a huge, great hurry to take up anything, but maybe uh, administrative ideas. So, uh, we could basically wait a little bit and uh, wait for the price to go down. And, uh, yeah, well, I guess we're going to take corruption, because the corruption we can pay for. It will cost us some, uh, some money to get rid of it, but uh, for now we can afford it a little bit longer. But yeah. It's going to be a sad day the day uh, France stops paying us money. And he is our heir. He's old enough now. He's taken over. And also, he already have a new heir. He's, uh, he's been early uh, getting... Uh... What's uh, Scotland up to? Oh, Scotland is in war with England. Scotland and England is... They are at war. Yeah, of course, they have a war with Tyrone because they are their vassal. And the papal state, and that means England and France. Now, of course, of course, now when I have a peace deal, why am I not surprised that when I have a peace deal, now this war happens, and I'm not getting called in, cause it's Scotland or it's actually it's England that started the war, and I'm not getting called in, which means I can't take pale, cause of course I'm not going to take it, declare war in England myself. That would be a bad idea. And actually, right now, England is actually hostile to me, so maybe we should actually declare war. T t uh, that could be, uh, be worth it, if uh, we see that they are having a bad day. So what I'm going to do is, it's time to uh, bring the army and maintain us up. I don't care about the fleet, because uh, the English have a much stronger fleet, which means I can't do much against them. But what we can do is, hopefully, they will... Uh, land armies uh, here in this part of the world France will crush them and something need to uh, this could be really interesting actually this could be a good thing for us we're not going to give uh, any of them uh, military access because uh, we'd oh, look at that army that's just insane but they need to bring all their land here is lost if they don't bring their army down to to defend it so I'm not sure what they are doing but we are raising our army maintenance uh, we are actually ready to go to the war against England if, if we get the right chance. And England also wants military access. Sorry, boys, you're not going to get it, which means Tyrone will be stuck here if you're not going to use uh, Navy to, uh, to move uh, units. And we are not going to declare war because we have a peace with them. It will cost us a lot. But they're oh, they, they actually broke the alliance with Scotland instead of joining because they were allied. Instead of joining... They broke their alliance. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can find them here. Not sure, but they broke. They should say somewhere that they broke their alliance, but not sure. But they definitely did. They definitely did. That's good news for us. And for how long will we be in peace? Oh, the peace is almost up. This is really good for us, then we can take uh, Lannister without uh, getting into uh, war with anybody else. Just waiting for the peace to end, and it's going to end. It's going to end uh, January. Uh, so we just a few more months. And uh, we're still waiting for England. They, they have sent all their armies up to Scotland. I'm not quite sure what they are up to. Not quite sure at all. They started... Hmm, strength. And there is the truth has expired. And this could actually be... We could go for Scotland. The Scotland... If we declare war on Scotland, would France join? Yes, they would, so we can't go for Scotland. But what we can do, and what we will do, is take Lannister. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We could... Yes, declare the war. Gonna give the, our navy a few ticks to get the morale up, and then we're going to uh, to uh, locate their ports also.
That was an easy, quick win. And uh, three units as, uh, as usual. Actually, we don't have any military leaders, so we don't have any at all, so we probably should get a military leader pretty soon. Neither our heir or our earl here is very fantastic leader. They could have a lot higher stats. But for now, that will do. Let's uh, remove uh, most of our units. Bring them out there. And let's actually, let's um, just get, make our ruler. Oh, he became pretty decent, but no siege value, so we're just gonna keep him there. Now we could bring our navy out here to blockade the ports also. That speeds up the siege, and we can fabricate claims against Scotland. Let's do that. We have two claims against Scotland right now, which is all we can get. And if we get a situation where, where we could attack Scotland and France wouldn't join, that would be a good opportunity for us. I'm still waiting for England to bring down armies to, to France, or even France could, could bring over uh, armies to, to England. Kind of interesting that uh, they're not doing anything like that. And yeah. And we are getting on with the siege here. And another loan. And the siege is over. We killed their navy. Uh, it's time for a peace deal. And all your land belongs to us. Then of course, we, oh, they have a lot of money. So unfortunately, we can't take all of it. We're gonna take as much as we can. That's great, perfect, beautiful. And uh, our glorious Irish Empire is growing, even though it's a Tomond Empire right now, but it will be it will be Ireland some one day in the future. It will be. And they have accepted our peace offer and our generous peace offer. I wouldn't like to mark that out. It was a generous peace offer with their full annexation and a lot of their uh, gold. So uh, yeah, and now back to coring. We have another province to, to core. Great, great news. And now we have too few rivals. We pick as a rival. We could pick Scotland, we can pick Brittany. Because Brittany already hates us, we could pick them. I kind of would, because we are not, we're never going to go to war with Brittany. The only way we're going to go in war with Brittany is if they attack us. Because we have no interest in going down trying to grab the land here, especially since they are guaranteed by France. So we kind of have no reason. And uh, a nice chance that we will attack is Scotland. But we won't attack them as long as the France will, they will join the war. The second France says no, then of course we are going to attack them. And just in case, we're going to bring all our army over here. So they are ready to attack if we get the chance. We are repaying some loans here. Quite a few of them. With that sweet money we got. I actually only have two loans left. But we are losing a lot of money. And that's even when, even though we are getting money from France. And that's of course basically because we are over both the force limit and uh, the fleet limit. But what I want to do, I want to bring all our army over here. It's going to take some time because we only have three transports. And, uh, and the states demand provinces. Ability, they want a province. We want to give them this province. What options do we have? Is there any province here that we would like to give them? I mean, this have the autonomy, but 11 development province. So I would rather give them an 8 development province. I'm going to do just uh, exactly that. Yeah, let's get on moving uh, the army. Take a look here. We are okay being out without the Renaissance for now. We are waiting with the uh, upgrading the technology. We can do that for quite some time. Scotland is uh, military tech 7. 
England is seven. Like, where did all that huge English army go? We saw them when they went up in Scotland, but then they kind of disappeared. I'm gonna send my, my fleet out here on a reconnaissance mission to see. Can, can we see some English soldiers or where are they? Well, they are here. No, that's the Scottish army. That's the English army. They're just like in a standoff here, doing nothing. Are there any other English armies? So we are paying off the loan, but we'll probably be forced to take a new loan pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon. So I would see France uh, landing troops in England, because that would force England to go down and uh, fight uh, the France, uh, French uh, army. I think that would be kind of good for us. But for now, for a short while, let's uh, repair the fleet and then bring down the fleet maintenance. And we are still taking a little, like looking like this, like what could be an attack? Of course, we don't want to be in war with Portugal, that would, that would suck. France is already in war with them, Castille could join. Scotland, we want to be able to attack Scotland without France joining. The second we can do that, of course, we're going to attack Scotland. I'm not sure if that's going to happen though. Oh, I forgot to get the rest of the army over here. So we can get money, or we can get prestige. Prestige is really good, the money is temporary. But we kind of need the money right now. I'm gonna go with the money. And let's bring the fleet here so we can get actually get the rest of the army. Go here, come on. We need them to be ready if we get in a situation where we could actually attack Scotland. But it's a huge risk of England conquering most of Scotland right now if France uh, doesn't start sending armies over to, to England. They are ahead in the world score, but Scotland is in a rough situation here. They're definitely in a rough situation. And of course, I haven't rooted out the possibility to, to attack England also if... Uh, if uh, the situation would come that they are in huge trouble. And uh, can't fabricate any claims on them, so you might as well remove this one and start uh, building a spy network on, on England instead. And we have a core province. We should have gotten a little bigger uh, force limit. Yeah, it's going slowly here, but a little. Yeah, we're only three units over the force limit here and a lot more uh, of the navy over the force limit. So let's bring you guys back. And I'm going to reduce the navy maintenance for now. Going to reduce it by a lot. Um, actually, maybe we should uh, get rid of some uh, some ships. So let's get rid of the light ships then. We are still making a loss here. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. But uh, yeah, we are getting closer to getting our finances in. In control, we could actually get rid of a few uh, units because we can afford to rebuild them pretty quickly. So uh, let's just disband uh, this unit and that should bring us uh, our finances look a lot better because now we're not over the army force limit, just the navy force limit. Um, that doesn't cost us that much. Now we, uh, we are making a profit again. But of course we are a bit weaker because of it. So France, what are you doing? Have you... Have you sent any armies? Let's go take a look here. Have you sent any armies to England? I need you to send armies to England. Come on, France. I know you want to. Where are you, armies hiding? I can't see any French armies anywhere. It looks like England is bringing, uh, finally bringing soldiers to, uh, to uh, France then. Are they going to give this? One to Tyrone, looks like it. 
What if the down is we can spy on on that war? A little bit, a little bit close. Take a little bit closer look. And England, you have damn it, they have claims on uh, this province, and uh, that means they're gonna take it if they win this war. And I don't want that to happen because that province is our way into Scotland. So we really, really need to hope that England uh, doesn't win this war. Right now, they are on top of war score. And if they could peace out France, uh, Scotland is basically screwed. But for right now, they are landing troops in France. And I think France might have enough army to crush the English here. And if that happens, England is wide open here without like any army at all. Um, yeah, unfortunately though, Scotland doesn't have any chance. But I could, what I could do, is I could hire out an army to Scotland and just to uh, pick up a few of these ones. But if I do that, I will probably be in peace with Scotland so I can't attack them. But I'm going to consider that one, just taking back the Scottish uh, provinces that I want so England can't take them if they lose all their armies here. Then I might attack England instead. But I think this is it for this episode. A lot of interesting things going on. Finally, the world is blowing up with a big war between France and England. This is basically all we wanted, but it happened at the wrong time. But we managed to step in and take another province to our glorious Irish Empire. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you during the next episode.